So essentially, we want to have three buttons in our program, okay? So we're going to be creating an array of strings uh, for a button, and they're going to be equal to three buttons. So we're going to have a play button, play, pause, and stop. Okay, and we're going to want to have colors for those buttons. So I'll put button color and they're all going to be white. So color, sorry, color white, color white, and color white. So we, we have three colors and we have three buttons, okay? So uh, what we want to do also, we want to create a mouse state. And what we're going to do is that in our update, we're going to put mouse equals mouse dot get state. Okay, so we get our mouse state. So what we want to do now is we want to display our buttons on the screen. Uh, so I'm going to put for int i as less than three since we have three buttons. So we're going to cycle through each of the buttons and uh, we're going to do sprite batch dot draw string and for our font and we're going to display the button text or our current button and we're going to display it at the position uh i times 100 plus 100 okay and our color is going to be a button color and yeah so it's going to display our three buttons on the screen okay so what we want to do is we want to check if our mouse is within the vicinity of the button or if it's in the area of the rectangular area of the button. And if it is, then we want to highlight the button to make it a different color. And once we click that button, we want something to happen. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another for loop. So we're going to cycle through each of the buttons this time. So what we're going to do is it may look a bit confusing, but, but it really isn't. So we want to check if the mouse X is greater than uh, the the far left of the text and less than the far right of the text. So we, what we do is uh, this is easy. So we do I times 100 plus 100 because that's the X position. And we check if mouse dot X is less than or equal to I times 100 plus 100 plus we want we need to get the strings length. So we do font dot measure string. Uh, we put in our text, so that's our button I, and we do dot X. And then we say, we do the same thing for Y. So we say that if mouse dot Y, dot Y is greater than, uh, it's 100, and mouse dot Y is less than or equal to font dot measure string, button I, dot Y. And you might want to make this less than or equal to as well. So this is basically saying that if it's within the area of the button, then uh, we do something. So if it's in the area of the button, then first we want to set the button color. Uh, we want to set that to like an orangish color. So we'll set the color to orange. And we, we have an else statement right here. And we'll set the button color equal to white again. Okay. So if we're in the area of the button, the button will be highlighted. So... What we need to do is that if they actually press the mouse button down, then, then we actually do something. So we say that if mouse dot left button equals button state pressed, uh, then we want, we want to do something. So if I is equal to zero, that means the play button is pressed. So we'll do media player. So for, first of all, what we want to do is, is check the state. So if media state, so media player dot state is not equal to media state dot play, playing, or uh, media player state. No, we'll put and media player state uh, not equal to uh, media player dot paused 
media state dot paused uh then then we'll we'll play the music okay so we'll do play else if media player dot state is equal to media state dot paused and then we'll just do resume so okay so uh that is simple enough so we'll play it if if it's not already playing then we'll play our songs so we put bgm sorry so we'll play our song and so then we'll also so after that for uh, once you calculate for i equals zero then we have to calculate for i equals one which means it's it's paused so if i equals one then we can check if the music is playing or not uh but in, for the sake of time we'll just do if media player dot pause and lastly we'll say else if i is equal to two or we could just do else media player dot stop okay so uh yeah so then we we get our we have our button so if they press the left but they hover over the button and they press the button then they'll either play it resume the music pause it or stop the music so uh that's simple enough so we can we can get rid of this right here because all that is handled in the update function uh, so if we were to run this program right now to see what we to see what we will get uh first of all the the, the play button and, and stuff is messed up because uh, what we did is that we didn't specify uh, our y so for a new vector y make sure it's i times 100 plus 100 and the y coordinates 100. So it also clashes with our time as well because our time is at the position of 100 as well. Uh, so maybe we want to change this to, uh, I'll just change it to 300 for now. So last time to try and run it again. Okay, so when we hover it, the cover is supposed to change uh, to orange. But it but it hasn't changed the orange, okay? So that means there there was a problem with our execution of our code. Okay, so I'm gonna go and check it and I'll resume it after. Okay, I think I figured out the problem for the mouse Y. I forgot to do a hundred plus uh the the measure string. So uh, let us check to see if this makes our program run properly. Hopefully. Okay, so when we hover over it, the, the text turns orange. So if I press the button, it starts playing, and as you can see, uh, our timer starts going. Once I click pause, the timer will stop. I mean, it will pause. If I click stop, it will reset back to zero again. Then if you play it, it, it plays. And notice our title is at the top. Uh, yeah, mine is called title. But yeah, it will display whatever the title of your uh, MP3 file or whatever it is. It will display it up there. So yeah, uh, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.